Welcome to the SRAM ETOP Axis HRD Hose Shortening Guide. You will need common bicycle maintenance tools as well as some specialty tools and supplies. View a full list of tools and supplies in the video description below or go to sram.com forward slash service for more information. For the bleed procedure, click the link in the upper right corner or find the link in the video description below. Remove the wheel from the bicycle according to the wheel manufacturer's instructions. Do not allow dot brake fluid to come into contact with brake pads or rotors. Contaminated brake pads or rotors can diminish brake performance. Fold the hood cover forward. Secure a shop towel under the hose at the hose connection point to absorb any dot brake fluid that may drip when the hose is disconnected. Place a 10 mm open end wrench onto the valve body and an 8 mm flare nut wrench onto the compression nut to loosen and remove the compression nut and hose. For aero bars, remove the brake lever from the aero bar. The brake should be installed with the hose properly routed and secured to the bicycle. To determine where to cut the hose, hold the hose up to the connection point with a link that creates a gentle bend in the hose and allows the handlebar to freely turn from side to side. For aero bars, to determine where to cut the hose, Measure 20 mm from the end of the aero bar. Use a hydraulic hose cutter to cut the excess hose. Do not cut the hose at the caliper. A small amount of dot brake fluid may drip from the hose when it is cut. This is normal. Immediately clean any dot fluid that comes in contact with painted surfaces with water. All SRAM brakes that use a compression fitting and hose barb must use a new Stealthamajig hose barb and a new red Stealthamajig compression fitting upon reassembly. The factory may have installed a non-red Stealthamajig compression fitting, which functioned properly prior to disconnection. Upon reconnection, you must install a new Stealthamajig hose bar and a new red Stealthamajig compression fitting. Brake hoses assembled with non-Stealthamajig hose barbs and compression fittings will not function. Apply SRAM dot hydraulic disc brake assembly grease to the hose barb threads. Use a T8 Torx wrench to thread the Stealthamajig hose barb into the hose until it is flush with the end of the hose. Do not over tighten the hose barb. Over tightening may cause damage to the hose liner. Thread the compression fitting over the hose barb counterclockwise until it is slightly lower than the hose barb. The compression fitting is reverse threaded. Apply SRAM dot hydraulic disc brake assembly grease to the compression fitting and compression nut threads. Install the hose into the valve body while threading the compression nut by hand. Use a 10 mm open end wrench to hold the valve body in place and use an 8 mm flare nut wrench to tighten the compression nut to 8 newton meters. Cutting the hose introduces air into the brake system you must bleed the brakes to ensure optimal braking performance. Proceed to the ETAP Axis HRD bleed procedure.